Let me call you right, right back. Let me call so you back. Hey, right bro, my shirt next time, bro. I got you. Yeah, that yeah, is that's definitely a no-no. You cannot answer a FaceTime call when you're on an interview. All these people see me. Everybody see me doing my thing. But you don't see me doing my thing. I do my thing. Everybody see me doing my thing. Do y'all, it's your boy Funny Marco. Right now, we back again at Nuvo. This is the owner. So basically, we got a job interview. We about to prank her brother. Make sure y'all come to the restaurant. And you think it's gonna be good? I think it's gonna be good. That was dry. She's like, I think it's gonna be good. <laughs> but look, man, y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. I'm at the dress up in my character. And let's see how we act when I come in there being so hood and peep out the interview. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get to it. <sighs> hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? I'm doing well. What's your name? Michael. Michael? Yeah. Hey, Michael, I'm Rob. I'm the GM over here at Nouveau Bar and Grill. Michael, mm -hmm. what's your last name? Rinse. 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 R-I-S-E-S-S. Son. Rinse. Son. O-N. Hold on. Let me, let's go back to the beginning of the spelling because I just messed your whole name up. No, that's fine. Rinse. R-I-N-S-S-E-S-S-O-N. Rinse. Son. I'm not even, that's my lady last name. Okay, okay, Michael Rensington. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, first of all, what brought you to Nouveau? Uh, the hiring sign in this. I know a couple of people that told me about the place and y'all had a, y'all hiring for cooks. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, okay, so tell me about your experience <clears throat> as a lot um, of I worked a lot of places from, you know, Popeyes. I was a shift leader and with the Popeyes I used to do it. I used to cook for the, um, I was a head chef. When, Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I was a head chef when it comes to uh, with Popeyes. This, I washed dishes and I uh, did seasoning chicken. And with chicken, we had different type of chicken. And then with the chicken, it was, it was depending on what type of day it was. Cause you know, weekends be busy. Right. And weekdays are busy. So I was a weekend cook cause I was the top one. And when it comes to, When it comes to the weekend, they had me doing a lot of that. So basically, yeah. So I'm just looking for an opportunity to come up and I see it's a good restaurant and I can learn a lot and I can bring a lot because where I'm from, I came from a terrible place. Okay. Right. And that's just all really when it comes to it. Like everything has just come down to like crackle bottles and fireworks and everything like that. Okay. So you kind of said a couple of things. You said you were the head cook at Popeye's, but mm -hmm. you only worked on the weekends. Mm -hmm. um, how were you the head cook if you only worked on the weekends? No, nah, because I, I it, just, it was like the schedule. That's how they set it up. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so what are the hours that you would be looking for if you were coming to work with us? Which I got open. Um, well, for our line cook positions, we have several slots that are open. We have our early slots. No, I can't do, it, I can't come in too early. Not too early because I'll be doing a lot of stuff when it comes to early, and I'm not an early person. Uh -huh. I'm like a night shift. Y'all got a third shift? Uh, no, we, we close at like 10 p.m. So we only right. have two. Okay, shifts. that's fine. Like if I can come in from what, like what, what shift? Like three to ten? Yeah, that'd about, be perfect. That'd be perfect. And like I said, it's it's the car situation that comes in. You okay? You okay? We need. Michael, with, okay? with the car, with the car situation, we got like cars, and they come in at different times. And my, my, me and my baby mama share a car, so she get it sometimes, and I get it sometimes. So if you understand, I'm coming from a dark place, and I'm trying to get out of that. That's really, that's all. Okay. Um. So one of the things like you kind of want to keep to yourself when you're doing an interview is issues like that, like as far as your car situation and everything. Mm -hmm. As an employer. Uh, it's not good for you to tell me those things right off the bat, mm -hmm. um, especially when you're looking to get hired and then you're, you're saying right. you can only work certain times. Mm -hmm. You're telling me about the things that you did. At, um, right. Yeah, and, and then the fact that you have on shades while we're doing this interview. Yeah, and I can take them off. I, can, yeah. I apologize. So I want to I want to make sure you understand that, you know, the business that we are running, yeah, and cocking your hat right now at an interview, 
Mm. That wouldn't be beneficial to yeah. The that just, it just kind of like I'm from Atlanta, and that's what I just represent Atlanta. That's what I'm saying. It's an Atlanta hat. Oh, it's just it's just like only okay. right that it, it, it's it's basically just. Do do you plan to represent Atlanta while working for Nuvo? Yeah, that was a question. Yeah, I'm just thinking. That's what I'm saying. Usually when you ask questions, you got to give somebody time to think. It's only right that I think, you know, it's only right that I can't just give you any type of answer when it comes to anything like that. Okay. And that's what I said. When it comes to it, like, I I, I just, I don't, I don't mind. Like, it's not something I have to do. Like, you know, it just really don't. It's not really that deep for me. <clears throat> I'm, I'm confused. So no, I don't have to do that. for a job? Did you... Uh, no, I want a job. I want a job. I like the environment. It's nice. Okay. And just anybody, I got good gut customer. How you doing? Excuse me. Could I ask, ask a question? So basically, I'm... No, I'm just, I know, I know, I know. This is a manager. I was just saying, like, if you can let him know I'd be a good fit for the, for the job. I'm interviewing this young man, and I'm trying to give him some advice on what he should and shouldn't do in the interview. Uh-huh. Um, as far as wearing a hat, uh, <laughs> Why you and all those I'm things. Just, I'm just laughing at him because what he's saying. What, is it right though? Am I wrong? I'm just saying, is, should I not wear a hat during the interview? No, I mean, but nobody probably ever told you that, right? Right, nobody never told me that, because I just got out of jail. Right, right, and that's but what I'm saying. I don't even laugh, but right, it's right. just because I'm old school, mm-hmm. and so in my generation, when a man come in the, in the room or in the building, he take off his hat. Right, but right. if nobody ever told you that, you would. Nobody never told me that. Nobody never told me that's that. That's really his fault. Right, and right. that's why I'm trying to give him some tips, some tips on what he should do. Yeah. Because at this point, I don't know if you would fit with the nouveau no, environment. No, and I fit. It depends. Like, I'm fit. I, I work out. No, no, And that's no, all no, I was asking. Fit. That's why. Thank you. That's all I was asking. Yeah. I don't mean fit as in fit in shape. Yeah, I mean yeah. fit in the nouveau culture. Yeah. Um, cause we, we have high Not because, like, I'm saying, when it comes to a lot of things, my brother keep calling me. Hold on. One moment. Yo. What's up? Who are you at? I'm at the job interview. Nigga. Let me see your shirt, nigga. Yeah, I just put it on for the interview. I ain't had no shirt to put it. You ask me first. You know I'll let you wear my shit, but you gotta ask me first. I know. That's what I said. I'm. Huh? You said you were the interview? Yeah, I'm with him right now. This him right here. I think they hired him. Hey, hey tell me, tell huh? me what's up. Hey, he said, what's up? Nigga down bad. Nigga get that stimulus check up. Yeah. He said, y'all, are y'all hiring? What are y'all hiring for? I think currently we're not hiring. Mm-hmm. Um, you what? Y'all hiring. Yeah, That's what. Ask him if you like his study work. Hold on, hold on. Let me see what he's saying. Let me see. What would you say? Ask him if they got like his study work. I could just clean the restroom on the weekends or something. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah, gonna talk to him. Um, he, he closed it. Let me call you right, right back. Let me call so you back. So what you have right now? my shirt next time, bro. I got you. Yeah, that yeah, is that's definitely a no-no. You cannot answer a FaceTime call when you're on an interview. That is disrespectful yeah, that's to the business. That is disrespectful to me as I'm trying to hire Yeah, he called me three times. Bro. He called me three. That, that, that's not my concern. That's not my concern. And I understand that, sir. I'm, I'm, me- I'm totally trying to, I'm trying to offer you something that could possibly change your life, and you're disrespecting yeah. it. By I'm a changed man. Know. I'm a changed man because, like I said, I came from a really dark place, and like I said, we didn't have our lights on, so we had no choice but to be dark. <laughs> I just had a conversation with you about personal issues, keeping them. No, to but yourself. I'm trying to let you relate where I come from. Okay, but I'm trying. And to you can't get business. upset with me about I'm not that. You can't. Upset. I'm trying to let you understand, like, yeah, mm-hmm. when you're going forward, mm-hmm. and say, for instance, the next place you go for an interview at, yeah, so this can't, y'all can uh, This is probably my last place because I should. I'm a good fit here, and I see y'all busy. The cooks back there, I see y'all. Y'all got nice water. I can clean dishes. I can start off outside watching the park a lot. It really don't matter to me. I, I, I well, I do like your energy. Right, right. Um, I like the fact that you're willing to do any job. Mm-hmm. What I'm not understand. No, my ear be itching. But yeah, that's what I said. Just so. Wow. Um, so where you from? Have, Are you from? Where you from? I'm from Chicago. Right. So you understand that? I do What's your daddy name? That is not of your concern. Mm-hmm. But what I can tell you, what is of great concern to you, would be presenting yourself in a in a what great do pre- way. What do the presenting mean? So, Present. for example, I'm going to just give you a couple of things that you can take in, take heed to. Mm-hmm. When you're coming into a job, and interview, when it comes to heat, what type of heat are you talking? About? 
That's what I'm saying, because it's, I honestly say he's from Chicago. Yeah, yeah. Um, so everyone from Chicago is not packing heat. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes and we're tell, running and, tell, and then that's what I want to say. Thank you, ma'am, for telling me that, because I never knew nothing about that. This might be a good time to teach him something. Yeah, that's what I'm I said. I, just, I, want best, him I, to teach, I just want him to teach me something. That's yeah, it. That's and that's it. the thing. He got to give me a chance. Like I told him, I can start working today. I'm a good dude. I do a lot for the community. I lost a lot. I lost a lot where I come from. You know? And the fact that, yeah, I need a chance. And then people just, they overlook me because I'm real. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. I do a lot for the community. I'm a good dude. And that's what I'm saying. And then he said, I, I ain't a good fit. Like, how you know you didn't give me a day or three days, you know? Give him a chance. Like, I just, that's what I'm saying, just a chance. Like, you know what I'm saying? Coming like, I ain't gonna rob the place. I, I stole from a job before, that's why I got fired before. I'm not stealing no more. <clears throat> At this point, I think you are uh, disturbing my patrons. Am I disturbing you, Mel? No. See, that's what I'm saying. We're not Thank disturbing. Thank you so much. No, Thank that, you for your patience. And that's why I said it's just like it's it's only right. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm and like I said, where y'all safe? Because I don't where gotta be safe. I don't gotta be by the safe. <laughs> I don't have to be by. What part of Atlanta are you from? This is Zone Six. I mean, like okay. I said, so let me let me let me can I can I ask you a couple of things because I would, I would nobody never really care. I would love to give you opportunity, but at this point, so when can I start? You you cannot, you cannot. You need to do a background check. It, 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 I, with the interview you're giving me, I don't think I need to do a background check. You've talked about robbing the place that you stole from previous places. That you worked at Popeye's as a lead cook, but you only worked on the weekends, and you said your right. main job was seasoning chicken. All this stuff is a mindset. I can work the fire machine, and I can cook. I can I can talk to. How a lot long of did you work at Popeye's? Oh, let me see. hold on. Let me call my mama. Huh? I'm at the ask because I don't really hold on. Wait, you please. don't know how long you worked there? Hold on. I'm calling her right now. Hello. Mama, how long I work at Papa? Uh, I don't know. You don't remember? Uh -uh. Oh, that's what. But I did work there. Was I? Wasn't I the chef? Was I the chef up there? Wasn't I? Yeah. How long? Like for like five to ten years, right? Five to ten years. It wasn't that long. Okay, let me call you right back. I'm call you right back. Yeah. Yeah, she don't know what she be talking about, you know? But like I said, I ain't, I ain't really, like I said, I, I need to know if this a place, if this place is good for me. Cause I'm, I'm bringing talent. So what do y'all, what could y'all do for me in here? I'm looking around, it's beautiful people in here, beautiful women. Uh -huh. What can y'all do for me though? What, what I can do for you is forge your application to a different company and maybe try to get you in there because I just don't think that Nouveau Bar and Grill on Main Street will be the location for you. Well, I yeah, truly I get it. respect I get it. what you're I get saying. It. I get it. I see you're hungry. I get it. But there has to be a point. And you see I'm hungry. You ain't offer no food. You only gave me a cup of water. And that was one of the, the things you didn't offer me, though, I want. Like, you didn't offer me nothing to eat. Sir, you do understand that you're on an interview. And I understand on an it. interview, understand you shouldn't it. be eating. You should. You should but you, you said you see my hunger, though. No, no, not... I see your hunger for work, your desire to be employed. That is what I'm talking about. Can you please stop picking up your phone? Yeah, that's and call cool. I'm talking. Why to are you me? telling me what the? You know what? I'm good. It ain't even a good fit. I'll go. I'll go. And I appreciate your time because you, the way that you treat me, you did me bad. How, sir? I'm trying to give you advice on how you did me bad. You did me bad, and I rise. I go. I'm just saying you did me bad, and I go. Everybody in here, all these people see me. Everybody see me doing my thing. But you don't see me doing my thing. I do my thing. Everybody see me doing my thing. You see it? All right, we'll go. I'm doing my thing. I'm still doing my thing. Y'all, they see it. Everybody see it. Thank you so much. Thank you.